trend with Institute capable RFN is a detection of Microsoft defenders that you can see popping up in the system. It typically flags a threat that targets a dealing significant damage to the computer, but can in certain cases be a false alarm. In this video, I will explain its dangers, show how to understand that the threat is false, and how to remove the real threat. In normal situations, try and win to do capable RFN can flag a wide variety of malicious programs, from loaders, spyware and backdoors to ransomware. The name is totally generic, there is no big malware family that has such naming. RFN ending flags that this detection originated from the heuristic detection system, and this means a lot for understanding whether you should worry about this detection or not. Symptoms of the active malware may differ, as different virus types behave differently. The general rule of thumb for modern malware is that they tend to show as little visual activity as possible. All you can expect is seeing your network traffic consumption going up, console windows blinking and your files becoming impossible to assess. But in a few days other effects may pop up. Online accounts that you have on the infected PC may start sending tons of spam messages, which is a definite sign of them being hijacked. There is also a possibility of this detection being a false positive. As I said, it comes from the heuristic detection system, which requires confirmation from other detection systems for better accuracy. When other systems cannot confirm or deny that the threat is real, it can end up with a false detection. If you see Microsoft Defender flagging a safe and legit application as malicious, you can just dismiss the alarm. But how to understand whether you should worry about the trend of Windows 2 capable RFN detection or not? Manual analysis may be complicated, especially since malicious programs can sometimes mix their files with legit applications. For that reason, I recommend running a second opinion scan with Greninsoft and Timelware. It will quickly reveal whether there is any threat to your system or not. Download it by the link in the video description and run a full scan. So the program will go through all the system elements, down to configuration files and hidden folders. The scan will take around 15 minutes. After the scan, click the Clean Now button to remove the detected malware. If no detections appear during the scan, then you have likely seen a false positive detection. But when there are malicious programs, I would recommend you to reset all the passwords that you have in the system. This way, cybercriminals will not be able to use the leaked credentials. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.